Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the week again for the NFL's five best bets for this week's seven NFL slates. Before we begin, we'll just quickly review how we got in week six. Fortunately, going back to a two and five record, we've got the first two games up, um, say with ease comfortably, and we got let down by a few. Notably, the last one was the Giants plus three and a half. Um, Cincinnati just needed a a first down, and they ended up getting the first down, and then uh, running for a 30 yard uh, touchdown. So, yeah, they knocked us under the 50%. But we're back again for week seven, and uh, we're going for that three out of five minimum. So, without further ado, let's get on to pick number five. Pick number five sees the Houston Texans traveling to the Green Bay Packers. Houston coming off a comfortable victory away at the New England Patriots, led by Drake May for the first time. It was pretty easy, um, maybe just for a drive or two. I think the Patriots going back within seven. Um, and then um, Houston just kicked on. They, they were comfortable for it. It wasn't really a threat. Um, I did back the plus seven and a half for the New England. Fortunately, I was in one of the five best bets. Didn't come to be. Uh, Houston won comfortably. Green Bay, dominating performance at home to Arizona. Arizona, they're 24-0 down before you knew it. Moment to climb. Kyler Murray, so inconsistent this year. Um, Green Bay, comfortable. Uh, running out, easy winners. My thoughts for the game. For me, Green Bay at home, they're going to be a tough team to beat, regardless who they play. Um, I do feel it's going to be a task too much for CJ Stroud. I'm a massive fan of him when they're doing. Yes, I still worry about neither Nico Collins, but I feel, especially with Jordan Love and how he's playing and the uh, offensive weapons he has, I think they're going to win this one quite comfortably. So, for bet number five, the Houston Texans and the Green Bay Packers, we're taking the market. The Green Bay Packers, minus 2.5. But number four sees the CLC Seahawks traveling to the Atlanta Falcons. Seattle coming off her last Thursday result, a uh, defeat at home to San Fran. They were always behind. They got it back uh, to have a sniff, but uh, Brock Purdy and Kai went down and um, made the game out of reach. Um, again, being a group game, there was a massive loss to their hopes of winning the group. Um, the obviously against San Fran it's never going to be easy but they're at home um, for me Geno Smith isn't I've, I've never been a Geno Smith's biggest fan I just he'll have some good games have some bad games I think this will be one of his good games this week but he's just too inconsistent for me as a franchise quarterback uh, the Atlanta Falcons coming off a uh, impressive uh, win away at Carolina um, I felt Carolina would have come there and uh well, defended their turf pretty well. I, th I thought it would be a tight game than what it was, but no, Atlanta kicked on second half and, um, yeah, fairly good for their money. Well, Kirk Cousins, is, he's found that he, he's finding his range now. He's finding his weapons and uh, they're looking quite a force. They're looking quite a force in the NFC South. But force for the game, I think both defences lack um, stopping power, shall we say. I feel both teams are going to be able to score points. Um and I think it's going to be an end-to-end. Yeah, grinded up. I think Atlanta might nick it a field goal, but I'm more confident to go for the total game points. So, for my prediction, uh, bet number four, the Seattle Seahawks travel to the Atlanta Falcons. because we will be taking the total game points over 50.5. At number three, we won't keep you too long for this one. It's the Tennessee Times with the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Tennessee look like a mess. Um, they've got a good defence. I'll start that. Um, they do try, but when you've got caught by Will, Will Levis, he isn't performing. He looks awful. He's a second-year star. He looks absolutely awful. I can't see a win going to come from them unless the defence can hold a team up. Then they're trying to Buffalo. Josh Allen and crew coming off a... Tight fault, maybe fortunate win at the Jets, but then games, group games always tend to be tight. Now they've got the um, sort of uh, they've got the traitor of Murray Cooper. It's another weapon for Josh Allen. They're at home. There's only one way this is going to go. Bet number three, Tennessee Titans and the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be a one-way walkover. We'll be taking the mark here. For me, the bet of the week, the Buffalo Bills minus nine point five. But number two sees the Carolina Panthers running to the Washington Commanders. Carolina coming off a very disappointing home loss to Atlanta. They were one of my five best bets, plus in the handicap last week. Fortunately, fell short against Atlanta. They were there or thereabouts between, well, towards uh, sort of the mid third quarter. Atlanta pulled clear. Uh, Andy Dorn and Co. didn't have an answer for them. Washington Commanders come off a tight, uh, a tight loss to Baltimore. Say tight. Baltimore always a score or two clear. Um, 
it was it, it was pretty comfortable for, for Baltimore in the end, if I must admit. But, you know, Washington started the season well. There's no shame in losing to a Baltimore team. You know, Baltimore took for many to potentially go the way this year. But, uh, yeah, it was unfortunate for them. My thoughts on the game, Kevin and I traveling to Washington, Dan Quinn led defense, a great uh, emerging quarterback in Daniels. It's going to go one way. From I'm very confident, so I'll be back in the Wash Commanders. Um, I'll be pumping quite a bit on that, and uh, and I'm sure that the uh, betters will be going with that way too. So for bet number two, the current opponents at the Washington Commanders will be taking the market, Washington minus 7.5. And for bet number one, Kansas traveling to San Francisco, this potentially, arguably, another rematch of the Super Bowl. Who we shall see. Kansas obviously coming off a bye, five and all. Not playing the best football in offense, but they're doing enough. What champions do? Pat Mahomes isn't even going to second gear yet. It's, it's just insane that they can just keep winning games. San Fran come off the Thursday night last week, uh, away win in Seattle group group game. Uh, they really needed that. They were on a bit of a skid, um, but they played awesome. They let Seattle come in back in, but uh, they were comfortable for an hour. My thoughts on the game, I think this is going to be very, very tight. Um, I've, I've listened to a lot of people, one's, people going to Kansas, people going to San Fran, and I totally agree. It's it, literally, for me, it's a roll of the dice, it's a flip of the coin. I think this game's going to be tight, and I, I, I think the defences are both going to come to play. I think there'll be a few field goals. I don't think there'll be many touchdowns, but I think the total game points is too high. I agree it'll probably go well over, but for me, I'll be taking, for bet number one, the Kansas City Chiefs at the San Francisco 49ers, the total game points under 47.5. And there we have it, guys. That is the NFL's five best bets for this week's seven NFL cards. We'll be back next week to review how we got on in this week and to preview the week NFL slate. Please, guys, to always remember to bet responsibly and only gamble you can afford. If you've come this far, drop down below if you like any of the bets we've given you or if there's any bets we've may have missed out or any markers on any game, we'd love to hear from you. Have a great weekend. Watch the early game for you Americans. Jacksonville uh, hosting New England. And we'll see you in the next video.